Hey you guys, it's Shaheen CV and I'm here to cause chaos. I'm trying to see if this thing gonna work. Okay. So I didn't go on live yesterday. I thought about it. But I was like, you know what, let me just relax. Um or whatever. But today I really want to talk about bad mothers. Um really inspired by my life. And I won't I don't want to get into detail, but I wanna talk about it a lot. Talk about it for a little while. Uh, just for the simple fact, you know, mothers should never say to their kids or their offspring or whatever they want to call it that, you know, to wish death or to wish harm to, you know, who they birthed, regardless of how they feel about their lifestyle or how they, you know, just feel in particular, you know, particular about some things, you know, I'm going to start it off with, hey, I'm Shaheem TV. I'm here to cause chaos and I'm talking about bad mothers real quick. Um, I mean, I, I did say inspired by my life or whatever, you know, and I'm, I'm definitely going to keep this live, but, um, yeah, yo, you should, yo, yo, your parent, your parent, whoever raised you should never say to, you know, whoever they're raising to wish death and harm to them. Um, and that's the same, that's, you know, dealing with narcissistic, um, guardians or parents or whoever raised, you know, raised y'all should never say that to, you know the kids or them as adults you know i don't want to put just an age on this just just never say shit like that and um i would want i will go into detail but i'm gonna make a video one of these days um i really don't really talk about stuff like that because you know my content i be trying to make people laugh and all that type of stuff but this is real shit people really go go through this type of stuff and people make tiktoks talking about how they're their their mom or their parents or whoever raised them make them feel um but mainly i've been seeing tiktoks of, hey honey how you doing oh, i bet how are you doing honey um talk about their moms and it's be women and girls in the comments talking about it's always on the mother but if that person is the only one that raised them of course they're going to talk about it then they make all these type of excuses about this and that there's no excuse to wish death and harm to your uh child there's no excuse for that i don't give a fuck how you try to spin it how these people be trying to spin it oh that's good i'm doing good too i'm talking about you know right now i'm talking about bad mothers you know people act, act as if there's no such thing and i don't see how the fuck that's possible when they have offices to take children when they're neglected or you know they're they're hurt why they got bruises on them you know it's a difference between di discipline and abuse and these older the older generation be talking about i got my ass be whooped and stuff like that and nothing happened to me but you don't know the difference between discipline and abuse once your parents start getting to the point where, the point where they want to fight you like you're a complete stranger, that is abuse. Anytime the motherfucker whoop you, or try to whoop you with, um, shit, whoop you, whoop you with a damn, my big ass stick, a fucking stitching cord, that's abuse. Do the thud shaker. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, but yes, be like they okay, but no, you're not because if you have an argument or just a simple conversation with your parent they say something about your life or something and it could go from zero to a hundred real quick there is some issues some child trauma that you don't even know that you're dealing with to be like i'm okay why your relationship with your children not okay why your relationship with your parents not okay it's something there and people want to sweep stuff under the rug so i say this because i know it's relatable because yes i was raised only by my mother and you know I don't even want to say stepfathers because they wasn't a father figure, you know, and they be like, you know, oh, you know, people come in the comments, the trolls or whatever, if they're even real or whatever, be like, this, this is um, the lack of a father figure in your life, bitch. I didn't need it. You know, didn't, you know, may have wanted, of course, you know, and may have thought about it a little bit, but as far as needing, no. I knew what, I knew what, the, knew the, what he was and shit like that. But, you know, they'll, they'll say that because it's like a homophobic slur. So I guess that makes them feel better or whatever. But I see a lot of t uh, a lot of videos about it. And I'm pretty sure y'all have too about these bad mothers. And the women get up in arms as if it's not true. As if it's not facts that there are bad mothers. 
and to this day, you know, things be going on with their, you know, with their mother or whoever raised them. But right now I'm talking about bad mothers. Next, I'll probably be talking about bad fathers, which is not relatable to me, you know, but I, I know uh, it's, it'll be relatable to y'all. So, you know, if y'all want to get in the comments and talk about y'all experiences, you know, if you feel like, you know, maybe not, they're not being a, a bad mother, but things that you would love to get off your chest because you felt some type of way for a long time about. It's probably affecting your relationships now. It's probably affecting your, you know, business-wise, you know, because of things, you know, how you deal and socialize with other people. You know, I just wanted to touch touch on that because, you know, I'm still, I'm living proof of, the living proof of the bad mother stuff. And yeah, I would probably get some time because I don't really want to, talk in depth now you know i'm not used to really talking in depth about my personal experiences but since i have the platform and i don't know how long tiktok is gonna be up and running um we don't know but i, I just wanted to come on and talk something real serious something real 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 authentic with you guys but uh, what, what, what you doing honey you, um you still here but yes, I would say it to, you know, um, I would just bring bring up something. Me and my mom, you know, I thought we was, it, I thought it was like the last time. I thought our relationship was going to get on board. I thought everything was getting cool. You know, I was thinking maybe some healing was going to be done, you know. And um, for, a, for a split second, even though I knew by telling her personal stuff and I never and I never did because she would throw it back in my face. Um anything, anything bad bad that happened, she would throw it back in my face and good mother's not supposed to do that. I mean, you know, they they're not supposed to do that. So, you know, I would tell her just a little bit about maybe I'm dating or I would tell her, you know, because she knows that I'm gay. Um and if you watch um any of my earlier videos, um I would talk a little bit about, you know, how I came out and all that type of stuff. But other than that, um, she had like she was cool, pretending. You know, we got into an argument because she, shit, I'm gonna just be so honest, wanted me to bring her, take her to her, um, to her um, husband, was supposed to be coming her ex-husband because he's not, he ain't shit. Why would you, and you know that I had issues with him growing up. You know, he wasn't shit. You know, he wasn't a father figure. He was dull as fuck. He wasn't, he wasn't a man, you know? And I would tell her, tell her those things like, you know, he wants good for you. But back to what I was saying, I was like, oh no, I'm not trying to go down there. You know, why would I take you down to see someone that I don't fuck with? And you shouldn't be fucking with neither. Because you're always saying, I'm done with this person. You know he ain't no good for you. So why the hell would I take you down there? So she get, you know, get mad and, you know, acting like I'm coming for her. But when I'm stating facts, you know, trying to help her think, you know. And, um, you know, because I'm very blunt. And a lot of people can't handle me. But, you know, she should already know that. So, you know, it goes from zero to 100. You know, um... I said, what you're trying to do is stupid. And it is stupid. So she gonna get mad and try to rush to the kitchen, get a knife or whatever. And, you know, thinking I'm gonna run. I don't never run from now, bitch. I don't give a fuck who you is. And she gonna, you know, raise it at me or whatever. I'm like, do it. Do what you think you're gonna do. You think you're a bad bitch? Go ahead. So she just wanna, I think, create. Think I'm fear. I don't feel now, bitch. Now, nigga, I don't feel none of y'all hoes. So, you know, she did all that type of stuff. And I was telling her, you know, telling, you know, telling her about herself. And she was trying to tell me what things she thought about me. Like, you know, we don't really have a, a, a you know, really communication. We don't have that relationship where she, uh, I could really be, I'm going to be myself regardless, but to be really like talking about my life with her, you know, I can't do that with her. I don't have this type of relationship with her. It's real toxic on her end. Because you could, how the hell can I trust someone? You know, I can't even trust the main person that supposed to have, supposed to love me or, you know, love my siblings and have that real genuine, convers, uh, genuine conversations and all that stuff, good communication between, you know, with, with, her, with her. You know, it was never that. She'll, you know, feel like, you know, if she don't feel needed, 
it's fuck us. Or and she'll say fuck you and all that type of stuff. Protecting her. I've been protecting her for so long, but I don't want to get too much because that's what I said. I'm going to make a video. But she was just going off, you know, calling me a whore and this and that and all that type of stuff. And I'm like, how would you know? And if I said, yeah, I did have my hard days. Yeah, I was single. The fuck? Yes, I, I, I do. Yes, I'm not ashamed of that. Yes, I have fucks. Yes, a lot. And I love sex. Why would I deny that? So I was like, you know what? Fuck this shit being nice. I said the same things back. And my shit is true. I'm like, I know you more than you know me. We don't have that type of relationship. I've seen what you've done growing up. And I'm not going to say too much. Like I said, I'm going to make the, the damn video. And people not like it. And I'm not going to like what the hell I have to say. That's your, that's your mom. And not knowing what the fuck going on. I'm going to say so the people, you know, don't come in and, you know, really can shut the fuck up. Uh, my life was pretty much similar. Similar. <laughs> to the precious movie so that's why i'm that's why i'm like you know i don't want nobody coming in talking about shit like that's your that's your mother type shit bitch everybody don't have the same relationship with their parents everybody does not so let's get let's get that clear so you know i would tell you know tell her that you're acting out you're just a little girl trapped in a grown woman body saying the real shit she would get, you know, get hot, hot, blood and mad and all this type of stuff and not really accepting, you know, accepting what I'm saying. Cause she, I mean, she, she's really, she really got, she real stubborn, but she thinking she right just because she is the mother. I'm like, you're not, you're not perfect, baby. She's like, I know I'm not, but you act as if you're, you are. I mean, you, and you pretended to be in denial of things that I say to you that you have done to us. And done to me personally because I'm trying not to put my siblings in it. Done to me as if there wasn't that, that like it never happened. I'm like, I may be crazy, but I'm not loony. I don't make shit up. I'm straight to the point. I'm straightforward. And if y'all know me and know my content, y'all know where I'm. You know that I'm fucking genuine. I ain't got a lie for shit. You know, but she is. I told her all that. You're a liar. You're a loser. You're a user. You're a manipulator. You all these things. And I knew this about you, but I thought. You know, the most disappointing thing was 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 really hoping that there was going to be a turn in our relationship. But people like that, and, and you know, I've looked up for a while, and I just didn't ever want to say she was a narcissist. A narcissist. She'll get in public, like, you know, everything is all good. And behind closed doors, this bitch going to talk about you. She's going to talk about everybody, in, everybody involved. So, you know, yes, she a, a bitch to me. A lot of y'all can't say that. I will. I ain't got time. Like, I ain't really too much no love growing up. You know, I ain't never too much no nothing about love. All I knew was hating ass bitches at school, then a hating ass bitch at my damn home. You know, where we were supposed to be, it supposed to be love. No, it wasn't no home, it was a damn house. Cause it was none of that. You know? Cool man, are you a diabetic? How did I even go to bed together? But no, I'm not. But um, but thank you for the compliment or whatever. But anyway, Yes, it was. It was. It was nothing they think. It was. It was hard. It was. It was real, real hard. You had to be like numb. There was times where I really had, you know, suicidal thoughts because I couldn't express myself to her without feeling knowing that she's gonna throw it back in my face. Had to be numb. Couldn't really talk to anybody about it, or even they'd be like, you know, if you feeling some type of way, it might be a better system now. I'm not sure, but back when I was in school going to talking to counselors and shit can have y'all separated and i didn't want to do that to my siblings i didn't want to go telling nobody i did at one point but then she turned on me uh, turned on um on me um well the counselor talking about you know that's your that's your mother she's not a mother anyone any, anyone can have uh, not any woman but women that can bear it don't mean they're supposed to be a damn mother they, they can be a mother that's not a fact so you know, and I didn't, I didn't, I didn't try it again. I didn't, I didn't do it because you know you try to go and get help. You try to talk to someone, some some adult, to be like you know, help us. You know, we was going. I mean, it's so much to be said. That's why I said I'm gonna make a video and I'm gonna make a post. You know, and I'm trying not to go there, but you know, I just want to talk about something serious. Like it was really no love nowhere. It really wasn't. It was always some. I was always angry, 
you know, and I did fight some, but I ain't saying that was the best solution, but you ha I had to get it off my chest somehow, um, because there really was no help. There really wasn't no love anywhere. And then you got have family members that, you know, don't believe you and all that type of stuff. That's why I be like, fuck family now. I only got a handful of people that I call family because that shit is that shit is crazy. It's really crazy. I don't want I don't want that. I don't want that, honey. You can have that. Good luck. But anyway, um it's just when you when, when when you need when you need help, you know, when a when a child grow up and there is really no help nowhere, you be like, okay, why am I feeling like this? You know, kids are supposed to be vibrant. They ain't supposed to be shit. Kids can't be shy, but I was also shy and I was also hurt, scared, and all that type of stuff. There was no one to really just talk to or talk to about my feelings. Like for example, I would be mad about something it had nothing to do with her, but she would make it my you know my. Bad mother would make it about her and try to be all up in my face, like to anger me some more or provoking me some more. You never supposed to provoke your damn children. That's that's not that's not cool. And then you trying them other on another level, pretty much that you're there now I'm an enemy too. It took me a while to realize that. It took me a while to realize she really didn't love me. You know, it wasn't like you know. Yeah, at the time it did hurt. But to grow up and realize that the person that gave birth to you does not really love you, wish harm to you. She wished death on me, wish I catch, catch AIDS, H, no, HIV, and all this type of stuff. That's supposed to be a good mother. Be like, oh, that's your mom type shit. And I'm not looking for validation. You know, all this, you know, I ain't having fully healed. I'm healing. Like, they got that video. I'm not healed, but I'm healing. But at the same time, you know, I'm just being totally honest about my shit. She was not. She wasn't good. And the father figures, they wasn't no. They wasn't no father figures. So I had to learn to be responsible. All that shit myself. Myself. I had to practically raise my uh, brothers and sisters. My damn self. They'd be like, no, 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 nah, bitch. That's what the fact is. And it finally came to the point where I never thought she would say, uh, "Thank you for help. You know, helping raise your, uh, you know, your brother and sister." I was like shocked because I know I would never get credit for that dog. You know, the oldest never get credit for shit like that. But I'm saying, you know, I'm saying people don't want to people don't want to say that, say that people want to be protecting. And that's what I was doing for so long, protecting her, protecting her. Shit, you know, she would start shit on purpose to get us involved in it. You know, I ain't want a damn fight. But I loved, loved her. I thought she had, I thought it was reciprocal. I thought she felt the same. I thought she loved us too. Or I'm trying to speak for myself. Y'all bear with me. Loved me too. But creating all this shit to make, you know, talking about you can't trust everybody. And I know this. But you making it to the point where these motherfuckers looking at us. But they, but for some, for, on some level, I felt they wanted to tell me, your mama starting this shit or some people try to tell me but i was so in like that's my mama bitch you ain't gonna disrespect her like any other child would be but to find out that this bitch really was trying to just fuck us up even more could have got scholarships but she got involved and tried to fuck up my scholarships you know what well, she did that's a fucking fact she did you know at every turn and i'm gonna be I'm, i mean it's a lot y'all it's a damn lot I ain't looking for no pity party. It just is what the fuck it is. It just is what it is. You know, but I hate, I hate that, I hate that happening. But now at the point where it's like, if it's fuck me, it's fuck you. And I told her, fuck you, bitch. Oh, she gonna act all hurt. No, you can only provoke me so long. I ain't got that much patience. I mean, I, I'm pay, I'm more patient than I would say my brother or whatever. Cause he'll go, you know, he'll go right off. But it do take a little bit of time for me. But when you piss me off, when I start feeling like, bitch, you, damn, you don't love me. You really want to be my enemy? Bitch, let's go there. Let's fucking go there. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the love. But, uh, you know, I don't play I don't, I don't. don't play with now, now ho. Okay, now now ho tell me shit. Thank you so much. I love you too. But, you know, I just want to talk about this because people be acting like, you know, especially in the damn South. As if everything, you know, it's very religious down here. They start believing and living in denial like all parents are actually parents and they're not. They, uh, children don't get to express themselves. 
and we got the big, you know, the, the, like I told my sister last night, when I was a child, I thought adults were adults. You know what I mean? I ain't never think that adults will be in comments acting like they're down children. That's why your children act like that. Because of you. They're looking at you. They're not looking at these motherfucking celebrities. I mean, they are because you're not their only influence, but y'all troll ass be in these comments and expecting your children to act this way and be good at school, wondering why your child be bullying or always getting beat up because another child like sick of their damn shit. Billy met Billy Badass. If that's how that damn saying go. And what you know, I was like, I was like, I would never expect for adults to be acting like this. Sometimes I be forgetting how old I damn am. Because I be like, God damn, y'all, you know, do some of these bitches be my my age? Be in these comments talking about all this hateful ass bullshit just to make them sleep at night. You know, I would I, I would never have thought in a million years that when I had grew up that I'll be looking at comments of motherfuckers that are emotionally immature. But anyway, back to my point. She was a bad mother. That's just it what it is. That's a damn fact. It just is what the fuck it is. And I wanted to get off my chest because, you know, I know a lot of people deal with that. And a lot of people don't want to say it because they want to protect their protect protect them and thinking that the love is reciprocated. If you went so long and have to doubt, have doubt in your mind about who raised you. You have to think about you can't even think list on your hand good things that they really have done for you because they you, it was in their heart you could feel it you're not stupid you could feel it you can't come if you can't come to your parent you know to come to the person that raised you on some serious stuff and you don't have to wonder if they're going to in a in an argument because they feel some type of way throw it back at you they're not a good fucking parent that just is what it is Cause nobody, no, no good parent were gonna do that. I couldn't say she was there for any of no damn T PCA meetings. She was there. She almost didn't make it to my damn graduation. Trying to make it about her. Like it was just, it was, it was, it's so much. It's so much I can say. But I'm, I'm, a, I'm a hold it. I just wanna, you know, say, say, say it. You know, just wanna say it. I was hoping more people got in the comments, but a lot of people probably are them damn bad parents, and they don't wanna hear the damn truth. And that's really not okay. I'm not going to say that's fine. It's not. Because sometimes you need to look in the mirror. And be like, am I doing everything I possibly can? Like, just giving a damn roof and feeding them don't make you a good parent. It does not. Having all this money, giving them all this type of gifts, baby, that doesn't make you a good parent. You talking about, oh, you know, everybody want to be their child's friend. Wouldn't you want to be the first one to know if they're having sex or if they haven't thought about sexual encounters or they're even or they just having they got a damn bully? Especially for the boys, I be I feel so I be feeling so sorry for the boys that you know they grow they grow up under the under this um toxic toxic femininity that they have to be just tough emotionless uh, and otherwise they can't they can't they can't cry otherwise they'll be a punk. That's crazy. That's crazy to me. Like, they, they can't express themselves and then wonder why and be asking be asking for that emotional support and sensitivity from their husband. But you telling your son that it's not okay to be. It's not okay to be uh to have emotions. It's not okay to, to cry sometimes. No, you maybe you might not want no grown man being like wheezing all the damn time. But Take that toxic uh, femininity out the damn picture. It's you know it's it's it's, it's a lot, and it's it's a lot it's a lot, it's a lot of it's a lot of women and it's a lot of men that feel just because you're gay you're not a man. And I'm not gonna reduce it to uh, to genitalia, but I'd be like, do you even know what a man is? Are you with one? A real man, as you put it, as I, they love to put it. So like it's just it's it's just a lot. That's why I'm, I'm I said it for a reason because she she did that the last time the last argument. I was real cool, but she thought by come she thought she could come at me and not knowing how petty I really am. And also I'm gonna tell you the damn truth. You are gonna feel some type of way about it. And I'm gonna go ahead and say this. Once I'm speaking, you no know, speaking facts to her. She wanted to get in my face. Then she had punched me. Now 
to get to the real deal. It would have been, motherfucker would say, I would have been wrong for punching her ass back. With all the shit that I done told y'all she done did to me. I would have been wrong to hit her ass back. But it's right to put hands on me. Or to put hands on your child in that way as if I'm a stranger. Mm -mm. I told her that was going to be your last. That was going to be your last. Because how I am, I see it before it happened. I saw, I saw me punching her ass, her ass flying into the damn TV. Because I am heavy-handed and real strong, and she fucking know that. But don't be putting your hands, don't put your hands on your child like that. Don't be doing that. That does not give you no right. I don't give a fuck. He gave it. You have, you're religious. You're, um, it's a lot of people that believe, that believe that just because they birth a child or bring a child to the world... They got the power to send them back or got the power to kill them and all this type of stuff. No, you don't. No, you don't. Because you wouldn't have to have people coming in your damn vacuum and then vacuuming the, uh, the baby out if you had that power. It's not up to you. That doesn't give you a right. That does not. Spare the rise, spoil the child. And I think y'all be getting that shit misconstrued too. Really, on everything. That's not, the, that's not your calling. That's not your gift. I wish I wish y'all would stop saying that shit. That is not up to you. How and I'm like, how the hell y'all feel like you gonna bring them in the world and take them out as if you're if this if that you're right, bitch? You're murdering. You a fucking murderer, bitch. If you did do that shit, and you think you gonna go to heaven? Really? You think you gonna go to heaven for, heaven for murdering your child? Really? And I'm not saying that. I'm saying if it's like either you or them. In this cold case to defend yourself, you still love your child, but bitch, you ain't finna, you know, that. I get that. But y'all know exactly what the fuck I mean. I shouldn't have that. Well, understood shouldn't be explained. You'll come to your child, and they, they ain't no damn terrible, no damn bad ass kid. I hate how these parents be. But bitch, you oh, you tried to, you decided to open your damn legs, and it takes two, yes. Because the fathers be, the, the, the fathers are supposed to be fathers be the damn same way. I'm talking about all y'all the same, but right now I'm, I'm on bad mothers. I'm going to get to the bad fathers soon. But come on now. Thank you so much for the love. I be want to, this has got to be had. This got to be, got to be talked about. I'm sick, you know, sick of the ones that are the bad, the ones that are are the bad moms going to get any damn comments or in, uh, the people that make the uh, videos about it. Talking about the bad mothers, how they being treated by their mother or supposed to be their mother. Cause everybody, you know, every uh, everyone that um, gave birth ain't mothering. That they don't want to talk about it. Y'all always put it on the moms. Well, if that's the only person that supposed to have raised them, of course it's gonna be only about her. Who else is it gonna be about? And to come up with all these damn excuses as if it was right to be have treated them that way, treat or mistreated them, treated them like shit. It's crazy. It's it's real crazy. It gives you the right to make them feel like shit. It gives you the right to be like, I should have aborted you. They ain't no good mother saying that shit. I don't give a fuck how they try to spin it. I don't give a damn. That's why I'm the bitch that don't have 10K followers right now. Because I'm going to be speaking facts. Whoever, whoever feel offended, bitch, that's on you. Do better in your motherfucking life. And in your kids' life. Cause you thinking, you know, gay people are drag queens or a threat. Baby, baby, you the fucking threat. Just wait, your ass gonna be alone in that motherfucking cot. How with how you treat your kids? It ain't gonna be me. I ain't, I ain't have them. It's gonna be you. That you could treat them in a kind of way just because you gave birth to them. That's some bullshit. I brought, I, I heard that someone I brought you in this world from her. They could take you out. I'm like, no, you not. It ain't gonna be you that kill me. It's not. I be damn. It's gonna be either me or you. Trust. I don't give a damn. I had, you know, I had, I, I pretty, I had to raise myself. I had to learn and look at, cause ain't want nobody coming to my damn defense. It really was not. People could call their parents. Uh, you know, somebody, some dis, no guys at school. Something happened to them and call them and they would be in their favor. I couldn't get that same thing. I had to tell what I what I did and then she would damn damn sure agree with the other person. So it was like, 
what the fuck am I calling her for? She ain't gonna be on my side. Had to be uncomfortable for a long ass time. Not comfortable with my sexuality. Didn't really know what the fuck was going on. Just knew that I was going to hell and just no fucking love, period, point blank. That's why the confidence is over the roof now. That's why nobody can tell me shit now. It ain't got really nothing to do with my ego, which I do have a big one, but I am very humble. But when when somebody try to come for me thinking they're going to be petted with me, bitch, you got life fucked up, ho. I mean, I've been through shit that would have killed the next motherfucker, but I'm still here. So, you know, it is what it is, but all, all, all moms ain't mothers. And that's just what the damn fact. Cause you, these guy, the uh, kids try to come, you know, come on and be like they going through this. Y'all seen it? Y'all know it. It ain't nothing to be ashamed about for you being the victim of it, but it just is what it is. Verbal abuse included. It just don't have to be physical. Physical. It was physical abuse and emotional abuse, for and verbal abuse going on when I was growing up. And it shouldn't have been like that. That's why I'm as tough as I am now. People can go from being like, oh, you a punk. But bitch, come, to, come in my motherfucking face. Swing, ho, don't miss. Don't fucking miss. I'm very pretty, but bitch, you ain't gonna fuck my face up. <laughs> Nobody has. That's why I'm looking just like this. I'm not saying that, you know, I always win or I will always win. But bitch, you gonna remember me. That's how I, I tell everybody. Bitch, you gonna remember me. Shit, not understanding. Gay, I'm just say, gay people really just had to fight whole entire life, cause motherfuckers thinking that we're pawns, thinking that we sisters, they, thinking that we ain't gonna fight nothing. But bitch, say that to the next gay person. I ain't saying all of us can fight, but most of us are fucking crazy, <laughs> myself included. So, what's the tea? But for but for real, she was a bad mother, and that's what that, exactly what the fuck it is. I ain't have, I ain't really, like I said, I ain't really have much love, but I, I know what love is. I've seen it, and I have, I do have it now. But that doesn't mean, like I said, I have healed from every single thing. No, I have not. And I would never be perfect. No, I will not. All I could do is try to be good, to be cool, to be humble. And I ain't really even have to say this shit, but I'm being real with myself. I'm going to be real with people that follow me, and people can relate to this shit. I'm sorry we had to go through that. I really wish you was my child. I showed you. Child, I showed you. Sure, I appreciate. I mean, thank you for that. I mean, a lot of people don't want to say that it, that goes on. I'd be like, why are these adoption agencies are out? If that's not true, you know, people people be trying to deny and kills the kids get killed every day i looked at the percentage if it's still that high the, the statistics statistics uh, you know uh children you know committing suicide it was high it was so fucking it was higher than adults that's crazy that's crazy really really crazy and people don't want to be open and they, uh, want their child to be open and expressive with them um, cause they, for the sake of not being on the same level as they, their kids. Your kids are not beneath you. Your kids should never be beneath you. You a child stay in the child place like they beneath you. Now, to some extent, I do agree. So some things that children aren't supposed to hear. But don't never say shit like that to mean that they're beneath you. That's, that's, no. Uh-uh. Because you want them to be better than you, right? Do you want them to be better with better than you? Like, to want to grow up to be better, to have something in life. Sometimes you have to be open and just totally fucking honest because kids are brutally honest. So it ain't like they can't take it. And you were a child once. Do the opposite of how you were raised. Not meaning like some of the foundation was good, but sometimes you have to really switch it up. And they'll be like, do you have kids? Does it matter? I was once a kid. And things I wish would have been so much different. And I would have turned out probably so much different. But I am thankful for who I am today. Strong as fuck. 
beautiful. Got so much love in my life. Got things I'm going to be fulfilling. All that good stuff. So yes, keep it totally honest with them. Ain't like they can't take it because they're going to be honest with you. A kid going to tell you, Ugh, you ugly. And mean that shit. Don't mean it's a fact. <laughs> but they ain't going to lie to you. That's why I be like, I don't mess with other people's kids. I don't mess with kids. No, baby. I don't know. Why? Because they're going to tell you the honest and brutal truth. Have your ass crying. Because kids, why would you expect them to lie about how they feel? You know, so it is just like, I didn't really have the option of doing a lot of that stuff. Not saying that I ain't have a mouth. I did. I did. I mean, yeah. I was a kid, you know, I was a kid, yeah. Had a lit mouth on me. And I to put that, throw that back in her face. I threw that in her face and said, you, um, you always had a mouth, a, mouth, a, mouth, a mouth on you. Do you did too? So don't say something to me that you, 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 you are as well. But I accept mine. I take accountability for my shit. That's the, that's the difference between me and her. I know we got uh, same characteristics, but I do it better. I accept my shit. I know who I told her. I know who I am, baby. You can't tell me shit about me. <laughs> I know. I know. It's a difference to, uh, between me and her about taking accountability or accepting Call me a whore. Yes, I was. I was doing a damn thing. And I'm supposed to be ashamed of that? That's what the fuck I supposed to do in my 20s. I ain't cheating on no damn body. I'm single and I'm going to fuck everything walking if I can. Now, I have standards. <laughs> I have standards. But I'm going to be honest about it. A lot of people can't say that. I take a motherfucker that will honestly admit that they are a cheater. Honestly admit that they are a whore. I, I, I just admit that shit. And give me the option of choosing whether I should deal with that or not. Versus somebody that's going to be sneaking and conniving and all this type of stuff. No. Mm -mm. Hell yeah, I got to. Because they ain't going to be waiting on me. And I'm going to talk to a counselor. You know, because I know it's some things. I know it's other things. Ain't nothing wrong with going to counseling and talking your stuff out. Because I know it's some deeper uh, uh, deeper rooted stuff that I may not address on live. Because a, a lot of things for the live, ain't. I don't want everybody to be knowing. Not that I'm ashamed of it, but it just is what it is. But I'm going to be speaking to one, and I advise other people to do as well because people might be too, not scared, but may not want to tell all the stuff they've been through too. But I know it's, I know what I'm saying is relatable. But yeah, you know, it is what it is. And I appreciate y'all, you know, saying that because I tried to do that a couple times. And I guess the fact that maybe I didn't go into detail you know, about what I've been through. They probably couldn't actually feel it. But I'm like, you can see it in my face. You can see it in my demeanor. It ain't like I don't wear my feelings on my sleeve. I'm just better at, like, I guess being strong, you know. Not better at being strong. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. I ain't trying to hide it. Oh, these cops so bad. Ooh, somebody, ooh. My bad, y'all. But, um, like, I, I don't really share what I've been through much, you know. I don't be looking for a pity party because, um, you know, I don't. But I know that it's relatable, and I know that it's people that have gone through that and still dealing with their child trauma because that goes in your, to your adulthood. You know, you'd be like, why I can't keep no man or why a man can't keep a woman or why a man can't keep a man, you know, all this type of stuff because... It's a lot of stuff you probably haven't dealt with. Your child trauma, that your past can catch up with you. But it's up to you. It's really up to you to get that help. Hey, you are not alone. I need people to know that you are not alone. Get Go get help. I don't care what anybody said. Go get your help. Go help yourself. Go talk to someone. Someone who is unbiased. Someone, you know, if you feel like, you know, if you're black, you want to go to a black therapist, you feel like they can better understand you, go do that. Don't be worrying about it. Don't sweep shit under the rug. If it's hurting you, if that's eating away at you in your heart, go talk to someone. Don't keep that in your heart. Baby, you need to be here. You have a right, a right to be and occupy this earth just as, just as much as the next person. Hey, honey, how you doing? Where are you? What city are you in? I'm in um, Hattiesburg, Mississippi. In a retirement state, don't come here because your tire, you know, your tire catch on flag, baby. You ain't never gonna leave Mississippi. <laughs> don't
don't come here do not come here i be telling people every time you come to mississippi when your life is over when you travel the world you done met everybody you can meet you know you just seen every damn thing when your life is over that's when you come to mississippi other than that, don't bring y'all, don't come over here. Ain't nothing to see. Ain't nothing to see over here. Oh, that's good. I'm good, too. Talk about these mad, bad mothers and whatnot. Yep, yeah, uh, ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. It's things that, it's things that we weren't, we was all uh, taught, like, especially, I want to say, in a black community, taught that going to counseling was crazy or that makes you crazy. No, it doesn't. You want to be here as long as possible. And I'm just assume that you maybe have, you know, kids and grandkids and probably great, great grandkids. I'm you no, know, I, you know, I don't know, but I'm just saying you want to be here for all that. You don't want to let their past hinder you. Some things that you have been taught that we some a lot of us need to unlearn because we were really taught really, really to really hate our damn self. A lot of the time. Y'all feel me? Go get help. I don't, I don't, I don't care what please don't be like, be caring about what other people say about the next motherfucker they just they just got want to have something to say and they probably in counseling soon but they want they don't want to see you strive and be a better person it's never too late to go that's why i'm gonna go because i know it's some deep issues hell i might have a you know mental health issue or mental illness and that's fine but i need to know what's going on with me or if i'm angry at work or this and that because sometimes i do you know like i said sometimes i think about it i'm all alone i start thinking about stuff and i overthink a lot of the time and i just get angry all over again it's something you know i it ain't it ain't just i'm just not here from that situation it got it may be deeper i'm from charlotte it's good to have you on social media okay charlotte charlotte in the building and thank you i appreciate that Yes, if you don't follow me, follow me, follow me, and I follow back. Because, you know, yes, I'm going to always keep it real and keep it genuine. I don't usually talk about deep issues. I really don't. I, I be I be having the, the masses laughing, well, the masses that's uh, following me. But, yes, go get help, y'all. And it's okay to be like, I really didn't have a good mother. Hey, ain't no part in protecting. You got to protect yourself first. You always gotta protect you. Love your make sure you loving yourself. Ooh, don't look for it in other people. Cause you'll always be disappointed. Not always, but you know, for the most part you will be disappointed for looking for someone to make you happy. No, make yourself happy. Let them know I don't need you. I love you. I want you in my life. But if you go, I will be fine. Like they say I can do better by myself. I believe that too. I believe that, but I will never let a person know I can. I need you. Well, baby, I was here when before I met. Before I met you, what the hell makes you think I need you? I want you a lot, but the needing part, I don't. I don't. Mm -mm. That sounds kind of like controlling territory to me. Like I can be manipulated by your ass. No, mm -mm. I don't need you. I want you. But yeah, I know I kind of got off of but I'm just saying, like. It could. It ain't have to be your mother that was that was bad. It could have been your father that was. Um, something they don't agree with your lifestyle. Bitch, you live your life. I'm gonna live mine, whether you agree or not. It's not for you to decide what I do with my life. It's for you to make that I'm just be happy that I'm happy. You know, a lot of people they don't want to say that. Maybe you don't. You don't live your life. Don't be a selfish ass bitch and be like the world is ending just because. Yo, you feel your life is over with and I can't live mine. Bitch, fuck that. No, the world gotta be ending. Baby, you ain't ready for Jesus to come back, so sit, have several seats. And shut the fuck up. Because I'm gonna live my life. I mean, I'll be telling them, it's, not, it's more than a damn lifestyle. This ain't something I'm choosing to eat. Well, I mean, I do eat, you know. I do eat it up. <laughs> but I ain't talking about that. But, you know, I ain't talking about homophobic so I'm talking about these bad mothers. But it is what it is. But y'all follow me. I'm gonna come, I'm probably going to come back on live later. I just had to say that. Because that was weighing on me. And I really didn't want to talk about it. You are who you are. And I don't even know you. But I love you. Oh, thank you so much. Shoot. I love you too, honey.
And I really don't be just saying that just to be saying that. I love who love me. <laughs> and I appreciate that so much. Oh my God, y'all. But I know y'all got things to do. So stay tuned. Follow me. Follow me. I fo I'm a, I'll follow back. Especially if you got good content. I'm pretty sure y'all do. Because I, I know y'all got things to do. So go ahead and follow me real fast. And, I, 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 and I'm and going to try my best to come on live later. That's probably where my hair will be, you know, done. Because, you know, I got these that clamps in my hair. Period. Period, honey. All right, you guys. Y'all go ahead and follow me. I'm trying to get y'all some time to follow me if y'all want to follow me. So, you know, and I get off. So, you know, because I know that it's going to end. And I don't want y'all to be like, damn, he was good. He was good. So, but I, can't, I couldn't follow him. I didn't get the chance to follow him. Oh, thank you. I try. I try my best to be. I try my best to be. Thank y'all so much. Thank y'all. I appreciate it so much, y'all. Y'all don't even know. I, I really appreciate it. And my name is Shaheem. That's how I pronounce it. Shaheem CV. And I'm always here to cause chaos. So just know that. That's my saying. Shaheem CV. And I'm here to cause chaos. So follow me. And y'all have a nice. Y'all have a nice day. I may come on later. So stay tuned. All right, you guys. Thank y'all so much.